Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Mario Party Superstars playthrough. Uh, getting ready to cover some more extra content. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the puzzles and sports games of Mario Party Superstars. Um, as far as character, well, we'll pick Daisy. Daisy's known for her uh, portrayal in the sports games, so I think that's that would be a good pick for her. Uh, we'll go ahead and do random CPUs again. And yeah, we'll go with this. We'll go with this indeed. Um, so yeah, there are six puzzle and sports games. Three puzzles, three sports. We've technically seen one of them already because one of them does have a uh, um, free-for-all minigame equivalent that you can play um, just in the main board game. Uh, the other two, unfortunately, do not, though. And we're going to actually do this not in free play, but we're going to do it in the sports and puzzles mode so um, as you can see these are the uh, different games you have I'll go ahead and uh, go over them um, you can also play these online I'll talk a little bit about playing them online since there is kind of a interesting difference there um, but yeah sports and puzzles so let's go ahead and start with the uh, puzzles. Uh, so first of all, you can do just a normal score attack, which is basically just playing these games by themselves. And you can do the two versus two, or well, one versus one, I guess, in this case. But you can play them against another opponent uh, as well. Um, I'll just focus on the score attacks for now. I'm not going to try to go for high scores, though, because um, it, it'll take a very long time to go through every single one of these and uh, I just kind of want to show the general gist of these games. Um, I'll start with Mario's Puzzle Party. Um, but yeah, the uh, general goal here is just to see how many points you can get within the time limit. That's pretty much all this is. And uh, because of the nature of Mario's Puzzle Party, the one thing you can do is uh, use the instant drop as much as you can. So press the up button as much as you can, and then just uh, try to get awesome combos while you're doing this. So I have an entire uh, section of blocks. Uh, thwomps will also help as well. And it's literally just pressing this for the entire time. Now as you can see, I have a pretty good score here. and. You know, if you're a completionist like I am, one of the things that you will probably try to focus on are the achievements of this game. And there are achievements for um, getting, like, a certain number of points in this game and making it to basically the last levels of the uh, other puzzle games. And I'd say that some of these can be some of the hardest things you'll do in Mario Party Superstars uh, because there, there is definitely an element of luck involved with some of these. And also just, uh, you know, quick reaction times, paying attention to uh, your block layouts and stuff of that nature. So it's, it's, it's not easy. It's definitely not easy and definitely something that, if you want to go for all the achievements of this game, that could be definitely something you might be spending a lot of time on, trying to get, like, the high score for this. I think you have to get, like, 500 points, or maybe it's even 600. I don't remember. I want to say it's 600, but... Um, yeah, I remember that like some of my friends getting the uh, getting the achievements for this game, the puzzle achievements was kind of a sore spot for them because of just how difficult it was and how many times it took. And honestly, I remember it taking me a while as well. I had to kind of wait for the the best run, the run that would uh, basically get a success for me. But I was happy that I got all the achievements in this game. It was it was nice. It felt good being, like, you know, a Mario Party enthusiast and, you know, accomplishing a feat like that. I definitely strive to get, to, you know, 100% and complete everything in games that, you know, are very special to me and games I just really, really enjoy. And I'd say this game is one of them. Do I think Mario Party Superstars is perfect? Not by any stretch, but I've had a lot of fun with it. And, you know, and that's, that's all I can really say about it, so... Having fun is all that matters when you're playing video games, let's be real. So yeah, a large part of this is just trying to see if you can make a stack 
big enough, and then when you have an opportunity, just drop your points and try to get as many combos as you can. Unfortunately, I don't think I really got a lot of super big combos on this one, it looks like. So, we'll, we'll stick with a 464. I'm not going to spend probably that much time on the other puzzle games, though. Uh, but let's go ahead and choose a mini game again. So next up we have Blockstar. I said I played 227 times. I wonder if that's like every time I got a game over, it counted me continuing as a, basically as a way to, <laughs> uh, you know, increase that counter. Um, but yeah, basically uh, for this game, um, I'm playing the single player variation. Uh, for Blockstar, your goal is just to uh, complete um, each of the levels. You complete the levels by uh, uh, clearing out all the star blocks, like so. You just uh, basically um, try to match five blocks to get rid of them. Five of the same color to get rid of them. And that's pretty much all she wrote. Pretty, pretty simple stuff here. I'm not super crazy about Blockstar, if I'm being honest. It's just the movement feels awkward to me. But I'm, I'm, I'm definitely someone who's kind of like a Tetris and Dr. Mario purist. I'm also a big fan of, like, uh, Puyo Pop as well. Like the Kirby's Avalanche uh, Puyo puzzle game. Puyo Puyo, I think, is just the general name of that type of puzzle game. Panel de Pawn, I want to like, but I am just not quick enough for Panel de Pawn. <laughs> that game's just, like, so, so much out of my league and expertise. Kudos to those who can play that game well. I am not one of them by any stretch. And, I, and I'm trying to get better. I, I play a lot of Pokemon Puzzle League just to kind of try to get better at that puzzle game, but it's it's still it's still difficult for me. So if, if you if you're someone who wants to beat me at a puzzle game, it's it's probably gonna be Panel Day Pond. Because that game is just very, very hard for me. There we go. There we go. And then yeah you can use the uh That's the thing, like, uh, whenever you clear blocks, um, they'll stay on the screen for a while, so you can make bigger combos if you can. But yeah, as you can see, there's a couple of ways you can play this. You can try to work out it one at a time, or you can do this. <laughs> I wouldn't say, like, it's um, the best idea to do stuff like that, but... You know, if you don't know what to do and it looks like you're about to fail, sometimes doing strats like that can help. You never know. Whee! Just keep spamming and hope something sticks at some point. That's all it is, really. Okay, so I'll clear level 10, and then we'll probably move on to the next one. Because I don't want to spend too much time on this. Because we got other mini-games to play, especially of the sports category. Okay. Boom. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, I'm almost out of time. Okay, I got it. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and stop here. Um, I got a new high score, so let's go ahead and just fail really quickly. Whee! Nope. Try to see if I can maybe get some last-minute points or something, but nah. And yeah, every time you reach, like, a uh, new level, 
Um, you can actually start from that level. And it basically continues on until... I want to say it's 99. I think you just continue until you get to the very end. So you can keep this going for a very long time. And uh, there is an achievement for reaching pretty much the last level of this game. And you have to do that in one run. So keep that in mind. So if you want to get the achievement, you might be working on this for maybe a few hours even. It took me a few hours to get through this. So um, just keep that in mind. And that's, an, that's going to be also true of this next game too. Uh, because uh, that was Blockstar from Mario Party 6. And we also have Stick and Spin from Mario Party 7. Which has returned as well. And this game can be pretty brutal. Uh, much like uh, Blockstar, there is an achievement for reaching the end, which I believe is, once again, level 99. And, um, yeah, this game can really take it out of you. Because, uh... Um, it gets really hard the further you get in. They introduce, like, new gimmicks and mechanics, and... It just becomes a lot harder to manage. As far as my general strategy for this, at first, I try to just make basic, uh areas for uh, each of your colors so you know keep all your reds yellows and blues in certain locations you can drop the balls quickly to kind of make more progress I want to say it's points based uh, in terms of uh, how you progress through levels, if I'm not mistaken. Oh no, it's how many balls you clear, that's what it is. Or is it balls or just matches in general? It's balls, it's balls. Well, that's, basi that's basically how this game works. Now, when you get to the later stages, one thing you really need to get in the habit of is you know paying attention to what matches you're going for in a sense, also kind of working, like, a few blocks ahead of, like, what uh, ball you're about to drop, for example. So, like, for example, like, I see there's a bunch of yellows coming, so I'm going to kind of make a general place for the yellows, drop these blues, drop this red, and then just unload all the yellow balls. Now, that's kind of what you have to do. You just have to pay attention to what's kind of coming up. And uh, looking at what you have on the field and just trying to just trying to come up with a system that you can use to very quickly clear as much as you can. Honestly, I really don't hate Stick and Spin. I think I prefer this game as the single player experience. But for Blockstar, I prefer the multiplayer experience of Blockstar a bit more. Because multiplayer for this, I feel like, can get pretty hectic and... I'd almost say there's like a little bit of luck involved with that too, depending on like what kind of stuff your opponent is going to send over to you. It's kind of hard to counter it sometimes. But yeah, you can play all these uh, puzzle games. Single player, you can also do the multiplayer. It's nice that they actually have like a way where, you know, you can do both. You can have like a multiplayer experience with these games, but also a uh, single player experience as well. I'm always about that because um, I think I've said this in numerous videos before, but I'm, I'm definitely someone who, when I was growing up, I didn't have a lot of uh, people to play video games with. Um, I didn't really have a lot of friends growing up at school, and uh, the ones who did, the, like they weren't really about like playing Nintendo games. They were always about like, yo, PlayStation, Call of Duty, all this other stuff that I didn't really even care for. So. I didn't get a chance to play a lot of these, like these uh, more modern Mario Party games, or even just Mario Party games in general with people. Kind of an experience I didn't get to uh, have until I was much older and had like emulator net play, and then of course just this game in general where you can play online. So it's kind of been like a new experience for me, getting being able to experience all this stuff. and. Yeah, that's why, that's why, like, at the core, I am glad that Nintendo made this game. Because it does show that, like, after years of them just being, like, too scared to put Mario Party online, it's just like, hey, let's just make every mode in this game online. And they did. They made it online, and I'm happy they did, because it allows me to play 
these games with my online friends, and it's pretty freaking cool. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a great experience, and this was like, you know, the most mechanically sound way to make a really, really great multiplayer experience, like, online. Probably one of Nintendo's best online games right now, if I'm being honest. Along with, like, Splatoon and Mario Kart 8 and... I guess Smash, even though I don't really play Smash online much. But I know that Smash is... Just in general, one of those highly, highly competitive games. But yeah, this is basically stick and spin. Um, as you can see, like uh, the further you get into the game, the more um, different mechanics you'll have. You'll have new colors. You'll have uh, balls of different sizes. Um, they'll also introduce like some blocks that have numbers on them, which means you have to like match them that many times before they actually disappear. You'll have like some blocks that can only be like they're not like colored blocks, but they'll only go away if like the blocks next to them are a match and are getting matched away. Kind of like bubble blocks, I guess. There's also like a black and white uh, type of ball that have their own like mechanics of getting rid of them too. There's there's just a lot to deal with. Like the further you get into this, and obviously the wheel moves a bit faster the further you get into it as well. So you have to also kind of deal with that. It's uh. It can be quite the experience. And yeah, it's going to be another potentially uh, difficult uh, achievement for you to get as well. Because once again, much like Blockstar, you have to get to uh, the final level if you want to uh, get the achievement. And much like Blockstar, they do give like a checkpoint, but the checkpoint isn't every level like it is in Blockstar. I believe for this, it's like every five levels, so... You have to kind of make, like, a couple of levels worth of progress before you can get that checkpoint. So, you could be stuck on this for a while. Um, oh, yeah, there you have these bubble blocks where you can just, like, pop them. I'm just going to get rid of them immediately just so they're not even on the field, if I'm being honest. But, yeah, that's a way you can, like, very quickly get to the next level. If you have, like, a bunch of colors, just drop as much as you can on them. <laughs> like, be merciless with them, honestly. So I'll get to level 20, and then we'll probably stop. Honestly, wasn't expecting to get to level 20, if I'm being honest, but hey, again, I, I do think this is a better game single player than it is multiplayer, if I'm being honest. But yeah, these are the only puzzle games they brought back, which is kind of a shame because there are some other puzzle games that I wish they would have potentially brought back. Uh, Mario Party 9, uh, the castle clear-out game from that game I thought was pretty good. Heck, even Jewel Drop from Mario Party 10 is pretty decent. It's kind of basic, but, you know, it has something going for it. And of course, bob -omb Breakers, my favorite puzzle game. Not even in this game, unfortunately, from Mario Party 4. It's a shame they didn't bring that one back, if I'm being honest, but... You know, for the most part, though, like, I don't... I, I can say that they didn't pick any bad puzzle games... ...for this game, but, uh, they could have picked some... They could have picked some awesome ones, too, though, I guess. And... there we go. Let's go ahead and fail. Let's see, there's the... There's the warning light, the warning light of doom. See, once you're done, you can choose to start from either level one or, again, whatever your checkpoint is currently at. So you have to basically make it through five levels before you get that next checkpoint. And I think it continues until level 99, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, those are all the puzzle games. Uh, next, we'll move on to the sports games. Uh, so we have two versus two sports. We have Beach Volley Folly from Mario Party 4. We have Ice Hockey from Mario Party 5. And we have Shell Soccer from Mario Party 9. 
So let's go ahead and start with uh, Beach Volley Folly. Uh, we'll play to... We'll only play till 7 because we're trying to cover a number of games here. Uh, let's do Daisy and Birdo versus DK and Luigi. And we'll put the difficulty on hard. Um, but yeah, I don't really have too much to say about these games. These games feel fine. If you've played the originals, you know what to basically expect with this. Beach Volley Folly, I think, is a really solid um, extra minigame in this game. You do have to kind of react fast sometimes. But, uh, you know, it's, it's volleyball. Nothing wrong with volleyball. Okay, I hit it out of bounds there. That was my fault. Oh, oops. Okay, Birdo. Dang. This is definitely a game I like playing with human players. And I like it with human players, not because, like, you know, I hate working with an AI, but also because I feel like with human players, they'll also be more prone to screwing up a bit easier. So, it just, it just feels like it's a more fair match. AI players can, like, just can sometimes do some really crazy shots. And that's my, like, one major issue with it, really. Yeah, nice spike. Nice spike, Daisy. And I, I know I'm Daisy. I probably shouldn't have put myself with Birdo because, <laughs> again, I'm a, I play as Birdo a majority of the time when I'm playing this game, so I don't want to mistake myself for the wrong character, which I've definitely done in this playthrough numerous times. But yeah, for this game, you just kind of want to look for the right opening for uh, getting your points. Oh, shoot. That was my fault. I didn't really react fast enough right there. I'd say of probably all the sports minigames in this game, uh, this one is probably the best. I just think that it controls very well. It feels like volleyball. A good two versus two volleyball type of game. So, I'm definitely, uh, I'm definitely a fan of this one. Oh my god, they got lucky right there. Oh, Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong! I tried to actually... Oh, nice Bur job, Birdo! I, I'm always too scared to do that, jumping at the net to get like a early spike like that. Like it just It just seems like really difficult to do. So I tend to not really bother with that. Because I'm just worried I'll screw that up more than anything. Okay, come on, let's just keep putting pressure. Yo, Birdo, nice. Good job, Birdo. So here's match point. And there we go. Game, set, and match. The princesses from Sarasa Land and Subcon. <laughs> okay, so that is the first uh, sports minigame. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Next game we have is Ice Hockey from Mario Party 5. Uh, we'll, do, we'll do three minutes for this one. Because one minute I don't think is a whole lot of time to do this. 
Um, I don't actually remember if I put them on hard or not, but either way. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, this is basically hockey. <laughs> don't really have much to say about it. It's just very, very basic hockey. Oh, I'm actually playing with Donkey Kong here. Oh, whoops. I wanted to play with Birdo again. Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> okay. Yeah, that, wor that works for me. I just don't know, though. I just don't think this game really, like, controls super well, if I'm being honest. I know that there's people who can find and have fun with this easily. It's just, I don't know. I, I think, like, if I want to play, like, a Mario hockey game, or even just a hockey game in general, like, they have Mario Sports Mix, which has hockey as one of the games. What? 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 And see, like, the Shy Guy goalies are just really, really bad. Okay, power shot. Okay, good. We actually got one in right there. It just doesn't feel like right, like when, especially when you're trying to steal the puck from the other team. It just feels. It just doesn't feel like it's impactful enough. Like. It's like I'm pressing the A, I have the puck, but I don't feel like I have it because of just the general flow of this game. And also just aiming at the goal can be a little awkward too. See, like I wasn't even trying to like... So yeah, this is probably my least favorite of the three sports mini games, honestly. Oh shit! Dang it, Donkey Kong! We had that. Yo, okay, there we go. Making a comeback, trying to see if we can win this game. <laughs> DK, you just gave it to the other team. What the hell? Well, I'm probably not going to win now. Ah, dang. I blame the fact that I wasn't working with Birdo. That's clearly the reason. But yeah, I don't know. I just don't think it really controls that well, if I'm being honest. It just feels kind of weird to me. But maybe I'm just not really great at hockey games. That can be it, too. I, mean, I, th I think if they had to bring back a couple of sports mini games, like... I think ho ho ice hockey is a fine one to bring back. I'm just a really big fan of... Uh, Ice moves from Mario Party 7. I think that would have been a good game to bring back, personally. That's just me, though. And finally, we have Shell Soccer. Thankfully, Shell Soccer doesn't have, like, a point value to play to or a time limit to set. You just kind of do your own thing and try to knock out all the Goombas on all the different sides. That's really the extent of this game. Of these games, I'd say that this one's probably my the middle of the road game for this one. But yeah, I'm working with Luigi now because hey, might as well work with every single player, right? Plus, you know, Luigi and Daisy, it's perfect because you know they're the they're the couple, they're the couple, so it's kind of nice. So yeah, Shell Soccer is about eliminating all the Goombas. You can get multiple Goombas with one kick if you're lucky, but you have to be kind of quick because obviously, like, the other players will be uh, trying to score. 
as well. So sometimes it's not worth really aiming. If you can just, like, charge through, get the ball close to their goal, and then just knock one at a time, that's fine. But there is a bit of a delay, so you do have to look out for the fact that, like, um... You'll need more than just a second to get the uh, get your kick in. Oh damn! Okay, come on. Oh, I tried to get two there. Oh well. And it looks like the Goombas are split up on both sides, so we have to be kind of careful about that. Just gotta get one more. Yes, got it. Yeah, and that, that's basically shell soccer. It's a very, it's a very quick game. I kind of wish there were like more like ways to get points, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, but one thing I do want to do really quick is um, I'm not gonna do this actually online or anything. I, I guess I could. I guess I could do that. Uh, but one thing I do need to kind of go over is um, you can play this online, or play these games online. And they do kind of actually change a little bit, uh, based in terms of like how the games are scored as well. Um, we actually need to get there, so hold on just a minute. Hey guys, Slim Kirby here. I'm going to be doing a small bit of post-commentary, because this footage you're about to see, I actually recorded on a different day. Uh, because the last thing I was going to show in this video was I was going to show... Uh, basically playing these games online. Um, if you go to the sports and puzzles mode when you're playing online, um, you actually kind of get a different menu. And you'll see all six of the games. You'll see that uh, you're actually ranked uh, for each of the games. And you can actually increase your rank by playing the games and winning the games um, as you play them. And it's kind of a fun little, just, you know, not super serious, but... You know, kind of a ranking system, much like you'd see in, like, Mario Golf, uh, Super Rush, or Mario Tennis Aces, just to name, you know, some other games that kind of have a feature of this nature. And yeah, you just uh, play the games, you can increase your rank. Um, I believe there are achievements for getting A rank, maybe even S rank too, I don't 100% remember. Um, but yeah, you just uh, play the games until you get those ranks, and if you do achieve those ranks, you'll get those achievements. The reason I am doing this on a different day and doing it post-commentary as opposed to live is because the day I recorded the rest of this video, I tried searching for opponents like eight or nine times in a row and nobody showed up. Nobody was playing the game. I feel like if people are going to be playing this game, they're probably going to be playing like the main board playthroughs or the survival mode, uh, stuff of that nature, but uh, sports and puzzles... I wouldn't say is very active so as a result you may have some difficulty actually finding an opponent um, I actually got my good friend Bowser 2 Queen Lady Bowser Bowser girl I got her to jump online to uh, do a couple of these matches with me just to kind of show you guys how this system works because uh, yeah I wasn't getting anybody so going to give a major thank you to Lady Bowser for hopping in and uh, helping me with this. Got me to get some footage for this ranking system mode. And in reality, it's really nothing too special. You play the game, um, you get points for winning, you lose points for losing. But uh, don't fret, um, because I believe you actually gain more points for winning than you would lose. So it's going to be easier to increase your rank and harder to lose your rank um, over the course of, you know, just playing the game. So, you know, just keep playing, uh, just keep uh, practicing, and at some point I'll reach again, either A rank or S rank. It shouldn't be too hard. And, you know, if you have a good friend uh, that has this game and they don't really care too much about their ranking... You can also uh, farm off of them. You can just play against them and have them lose intentionally if you want to just get the rankings from the get-go. And you could also help them with the same thing, too. You can help each other with just, you know, uh, helping each other kind of get those rankings. Or you could just play seriously and just, you know, um, try to get better through playing each other as well. 
And um, in addition to, you know, getting points for winning and losing points for losing, um, you can also get certain bonuses uh, in the match depending on, like, what kind of game you're playing. Like, if you get, like, a perfect in Shell Soccer, for example, you get some bonus points. Um, if you manage to get, like, three points in a row in Shell Soccer, you'll get bonus points there, too. Uh, for the puzzle games, if you get combos, you can get points for that as well. So even if you, like, lose a match, if you manage to do a lot during your game, like, you may not lose much of anything. I know there was one game where I lost, and I only lost one point. And I think there was another game where I lost, but I still got points because I did a whole bunch of other things as well. Um, but yeah, that's essentially how this mode works. Uh, thank you, uh, Bowser Girl, for uh, stepping in to help me out with showing this. Oh, and uh, before I forget, I really should probably mention this because uh, she'd be really, really angry and disappointed with me if I didn't mention this or call attention to this. Um, but to avoid the scenario of two people, you know, picking the same exact character, since obviously you can't do like mirror matches in this game or anything like that um all the characters of your opponents will actually be randomized so even if they pick like yoshi for example which that's who my friend bowser girl normally picks on this game she picks yoshi uh she'll appear as a different character on my end so in the last game she was actually playing as peach but in this game uh, it's shown that she's playing as Wario, even though she was playing as Yoshi this whole time. And much in the same fashion, even though I'm playing as Birdo, um, I'm going to appear as a different character in her game as well. It's very weird why they do that, but again, it's to prevent the scenario of two people choosing the same character. Because I guess the game is just programmed in a way where you can't have the same character in the same match, so they have to kind of randomize the characters to play around that um but yeah that's pretty much uh all i wanted to mention with that so if you're playing with someone while like on a voice call or something like that you know you can have a little bit of fun saying oh who care which character are you in this match oh i'm this character you're you're this character in my match so just a just a fun fact to uh put out there before the end of this video and with that, I'm going to go ahead and close this video here. So um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, the next video, which will be, you know, the kind of the start of the next weekend, I'm going to start jumping into some of the other um, Mount minigame modes that we haven't seen yet. Uh, stuff like, you know, tag battle, coin match, uh, the trio battles, all that other stuff. So um, stay tuned for that. I'll showcase that stuff. And... Um, I think with that, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. This has been uh, Slim Kirby. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Later, folks.